Hi plant friends, um, in the last video, uh, um, I'll show you all the plants that I got in the Hi guys, so in this video, I want to show you all the plants that I got from the different nurseries that I visited in Portland. If any of you who have not watched my last video where I show you where I take you with me to all the seven nurseries that I went to in Portland. It's gonna be a long video because I bought like thousands of plants. No, not thousands. But yeah, I've bought a lot of plants. So it's going to take me some time to show you all the different plants. The first nursery that I went was Portland Nursery. Um, the plants that I got from there was this Peperomia Emerald Ripple. Yeah, yeah. It's it has that metallic, um, shimmery leaves. Um, and they have a tag here. Doesn't say much about it, but and it's pet safe. Yeah. So I paid seven ninety nine. That's my first plan. Um, the second plan that I got, I actually got two of the same varieties because they were like my wish list plant. If you have watched my herds garden video. Uh, this was the plan that they did not ship. So I'm very happy that I found it in Portland Nursery. It's this gorgeous, gorgeous Peperomia. I think it's called Stilt Peperomia. Beautiful. I really like how the bottom leaves have different color than the top ones, the new ones. I, I, just, I just love this plant. I can't wait for it to grow like crazy. And I paid $4.99 for each of these. So nine dollars total nine and nine point two five whatever whatever the math is there but I'm, I'm not complaining so the next one that we visited was am botanicals um and i was like like this when i visited um because because we all see so many uh plant unboxing on youtube from am botanicals so i was like i wanted to visit you guys kalethia makoyana I think it's also called peacock plant very pretty it's in a four inch pot and let me make sure you guys can see all the beautiful patterns it has like new leaf coming from here it just unfolded this one and i paid 14 dollars so this is the only plant that i bought from them oh they have another leaf coming here gorgeous i love this i love Calathea. I mean, they grow really okay in my care. So yeah, I, I, I would like to be a Calathea collector at some point. Um, the next nursery that we went to uh, was Pistols Nursery. Uh, these nurseries are really close by. So it was like one and a half miles of each other. I was like so happy we could cover all of them in a day because we were there only for the weekend. Like we reached there on a Friday and we were back on Sunday and we were driving all the time. So. It took like a day of driving to Portland. Yeah, we were that crazy. <laughs> okay, so the next nursery is Pistols and let's find out what we got. It's the Rattlesnake Lancifolia. It's again in a four inch pot. And I think they are not marked, they've not marked the price here, but there was like a tag there. Um, but I think this one I paid $8, yeah eight dollars for this plant all the leaves are very healthy there is no crisp no browning so yeah i am happy sorry for the stupid dance look at that you guys i have never seen this kind of plant before but i'm pretty sure i've seen it in pictures like on instagram and this one is called Hmm, okay. Pelionia watermelon. $15. Look at that. Look at the size. I love it. The next plant that we got is this Hoya Shepardii. Look at this one. It has like new growth coming here. It has like this stem going on, this thing going on here. And 
it's one of my wish list plant so i'm very happy that i found it in one of those nurseries it's i think i paid eight dollars so it's still deal because i remember going to summer wine summer winds nursery in bay area they had like a huge basket i would say like eight inch basket but it was like 65 dollars i'm like mm -mm. this is like one eighth of that very happy and i got this very cute pot from them look at the different colors i love this color like the henna henna color i think it's a uh, yeah it has a hole here and then it comes with a saucer attached saucer and this one was 18 dollars so yeah i i, I love me a pot huh. um um yeah one more plan i got this it's a begonia you guys um i was thinking it's 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 another kind of peperomia but then the lady who was working there she confirmed that it's a begonia of some sort she didn't know the actual like the full proper scientific name but i'll take it i really like it look at the pattern underneath and it has like red pinkish stem yeah i like it and this one was also i think eight bucks hmm. next one okay i'm not used to talking so much mm. yeah so the next nursery that we went to was sola bees sola bees flowers and botanicals and they had um yeah tons of other stuff so yeah but the i just got one plant from them them and it's like my wish list plant and it is calathea blah 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 when i say blah 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 i don't know the pronunciation so sorry guys i'm going to put it somewhere here it's some business is is kaki let's just say that but look at the leaves look at the velvet leaves with the purple underside and look at the size of this plant it has like this one coming here there's another leaf that's coming here this one i think was open but this just curled because it's almost night time here and yeah this this cost me um i think it's actually it's here it cost me 26 dollars yeah, another wish list item gone so that was my shopping from solar bees i got a pair of earrings but yeah that's not planned so we're not going to talk about that um the next nursery that i went to actually it it's not a nursery we went to a, a store japanese store in portland downtown it's called muji's they have all sorts of stuff they're cleaning stuff and they have like um fragrance they have like uh, those scented scented candles and other kind of so the next plant that i got is this dwarf banana plant and it has like maroon outline to it look at this one I love this one. I mean, I was like double minds when I saw them in other nurseries. But when I finally saw it in Muji's, I was like, okay, I need to get this one. This is like beautiful. And this is my first banana plant. So if you guys have it and it's thriving, just please help this lady out. Please put your um, care tips in the comments. What works for your plant? You know, because I'm like very new to this business. So yeah, any tips will be welcome. This is next day and we went to um, Marbots. Gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful nursery with all the plant vibes that you can get. They had like this very beautiful setup. We we spoke with the owner of the of the store. His name is Ernie and he's more than 90 years old. He was so knowledgeable and he mentioned that he's growing these house plants since 1930s. Take a moment. Pause. 1930s amazing so i got a couple of plants from there that i have not seen in my regular uh, nurseries first one is i is not that rare like you can still find it in local nurseries but i love this one i mean i have a skin dapsis pictus but this one is like the other variety i think it's the the one that I ha that i have is silver pothos because there's more of silver 
and this is more of green with like very definitive leaf outline and the leaf size is much smaller and it's way like it's trailing we actually wrapped it okay this one was for um 18.95 this begonia angel wings look at that look at the foliage it's so full and guys this only cost me like 10.95 so yeah i'm like over the top and it has like growth everywhere look at that it's it's almost like a tree like a bonsai tree i would say oh there is a casualty um the next one is my wish list plant and this one is philodendron micans look at the velvety leaves i know i'm acting stupid but that was actually my reaction when i got saw this plant i was like telling my husband this is this is what i live for you know it's like a treasure hunt in that in that nursery and this this also cost me 12.95 for this 4 inch pot it has like a shoot coming from here and then there's one here there's another one here the next one is very interesting you guys and he told me the name of the plant but when i looked it up online the name and the plant doesn't match so i'm not sure but if you guys have seen it before if you know about it please 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 let me know in the comments because i don't know what it is and it would be hard for me to care for it and i don't want to lose it it's so pretty look at this one again it's velvety leaves look at the underside purple it's almost like that calathea that i showed you guys before like a smaller version of that smaller leaves and he, the orni said that this one is um uh, monkey vine but when i google monkey vine i mean this these leaves don't show up so i'm not sure but i think i'll i'll try to research more uh and he said it's going it it flowers if you give it like good amount of light so i'm going to do that and this is only 1095 you guys look at the size of this plant beautiful very pretty under leaf and the last one is this ficus look at the variegation you guys and i'm i mean i'm not sure if it's rare or whatever but i've not seen this kind of leaves before on a ficus i've always seen like um those normal bigger leaves like the the normal kind of leaves i don't know what the shape is but yeah this one i love it and look at the different variations different uh, shades of green like the bottom ones are more greenish the top ones are more neon and then they have these very vari variegations and i uh, the name of this plant is saber ficus i think it's also called ficus alley it says this indestructible house plant with unusual golden variegation has the ability to fill a room with color tolerant of low light and low humidity that's awesome. who wants high humidity plants like i'm so done with misting every now and then so this is this is a good good change i love this one the only thing the only thing that the owner pointed out is that don't move it around so often okay now moving on to the pots i got two pots from them same design so i'm just going to show you one it's like a 4 inch i guess it has hole in the bottom and then this saucer and this one was for 5.95 oh it says 4.75 inch it has like this beautiful butterfly here look at that you guys and some cute flowers and i got two of these same color and and then we found this cute little um boutique nursery it's called um, besto and bloom and we found this very pretty another wish list plant a cactus and zigzag it's it's called zigzag cactus if i'm zigzag or rickrack okay again i'll do my research and put it here but look at this 
the lady there she said she was probably not giving it enough um, sunlight so that's why it's growing like this so probably I can cut it from here and then stick it up and then it, it will grow like fuller and much better shape so I'm gonna try that and yeah I don't know why I'm posing with my plants this is stupid but who can relate um, I also got um, I actually got a sticker from them I'll show you that and then I got this pot from them it's a cute small pot with it's a cement I think pot with all these cactus cacti and it doesn't come with a hole but I like it and this cost me eight bucks and the plant cost me nine bucks um, and then I'll be back I got a sticker from them that I want to show you how cute is that I'm still thinking where to put it probably on my car but how cute is that and this was like um, and this was like two bucks and that's that's all of my haul and I am in heaven right now but I have so much so much of hiding to do because these are like lots of plant and I live like in a one bedroom apartment with like absolutely no space but I am pretty pretty sure 100% of you have absolutely no space but we are still buying more plants so keep rocking all right guys thanks so much for watching my video and all the love that you've been giving me if you like this video make sure please please like it and if you love it basically subscribe to it and i'll see you in the next